I, I, um, I want to uh, give a shout out, first of all, here to a New Mexican that's here with the Santa Fe Opera, Kyle Gray, right back over here. And he'll be, he'll be a part of your effort today to go around. I, I understand you're 650 strong. And, and uh, are you ready to go? Ready to get geared up? And, and Bob couldn't have been more right when he said Jane Chu is a rock star. She really is. She said she is just amazing. What what a um, you know what a great crowd. I wish uh, with that wonderful introduction he made and the Create Act. I know how you're going to ask to get people signed up on that comprehensive art legislation. With that great introduction, I wish my mom was here to hear what he said about me. He he was uh, uh, she she just loved the arts and and. Uh, she would have believed it all. My dad would have said, oh, what a bunch of BS. But, you know, that's a, that, anyway, um, you know, why are we all here? This is, really, this is really something very important. And I think, first of all, it's because we love the arts. The arts elevate us. They speak to our souls. They connect us to each other. The arts transcend racial, ethnic, gender, and class boundaries. The arts are a social good. We need government support for the arts to strengthen our communities and strengthen the nation. And you all know that back in your communities at home, how much the arts do there. My father used to write about, he, he knew Robert Frost. He became a good friend. And, and they used to talk about poetry and power together. And he would say, Arts are a taming force. They're a calming force. You think that the, this president, we could use a little of that right now? Yeah, yeah I, think, I think that's probably true. Um, we have a real battle on our hands. You probably heard this in your briefings yesterday, but for the second time, the administration has put a zero under NEA and NEH. Now the first time around, with your help, what ended up happening is we ended up getting a little bit of a raise, $2 million for each one, with your help. So let's, let's hear what you did and the others that were here last year on that. And we're, are we gonna let, are we gonna let the NEA and NEH be zeroed out. Let's hear a strong, let, let's hear that. Let's, no, no, okay. Now, I, I want to say the, the really hopeful thing, and Jane knows this very well. While the administration may deal with zeros, Congress, we have great, great bipartisan support in the Congress. And, it, and you have seen it. it you have seen it here today. You have seen it here today. You see it in your meetings. I mean, I'm fortunate on the Appropriations Committee where we put that money in place to have Lisa Murkowski as my chairman. I think she's run, won more arts awards in the last couple of years than almost anybody, but she's wonderful. She's really, really uh, wonderful to work with. So I want to, um, I want to make sure that when you go out, and you're working very, very hard, um, that you talk a little bit about why the arts are so important. We talked a little bit already. Um, but don't forget, don't forget the arts contribute to our economy in a very, very significant way. I bet all of you here know about the recent report from the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis and the National Endowment, it found that the arts contribute more than 760 billion, that's a B, billion dollars to the U.S. economy. So that's a, that's a big significant thing. The second thing that you should remind all of our representatives and senators is the arts money is leveraged in the community by nine to one ratio. So every time you put out, the federal government puts out a dollar, you generate 
as a result of direct and indirect activity, another $9 of activity. And so that is terrific. And, and that's the kind of ultimate definition of a public-private partnership. So finally, make sure and sign up people on CREATE, which is a comprehensive piece of arts legislation. But I just want, in my, my final uh, couple of seconds here, to just congratulate all the wonderful people you're working with. Uh, Bob Lynch, Narek Rome, who's over here, Narek, raise your hand, and Jane Chu, and every, everybody else here that works on the arts. Thank you for all that you do. We're going to keep fighting. Thank you so much. Thank you.